Hello, good morning. So I met um, or found out about Mr. Agrawal because I did do a lot of research about him. I, once I decided I really wanted to have some bariatric surgery, I had a colleague who worked in a sister hospital, so I asked her about his reputation, which she said was very good. I did a lot of research online, liked what I saw. There was a lot of positive reviews, and that's how I came to find out about him and then I rang the hospital he was based at and booked an appointment for my consultation. So I had a gastric sleeve um, done on the 9th of December in 2022. So I had my consultation with Mr. Agrawal and the discussion was about the different sorts of bariatric surgery. So he discussed all options. He discussed which option would be better for me. And I had a initial um, diagnosis or preliminary diagnosis of maybe having sleep apnea. So he actually had said to me, well, it looks as though you've got sleep apnea, so we need to get that sorted and diagnosed before I can continue. So that for me was another plus point with Mr. Agrawal because I actually thought, well, that's good. He's putting safety first. So he had said to me to go and get the diagnosis, get the sleep studies and then come back to see me, which is what I did. So the procedure went very, very well. I was very fortunate that I didn't have any complications. Mind you, I did follow everything that I was supposed to do. I did stick to what I was told to do. Mr. Agrawal, or Mr. A, as everyone sort of calls him, has got quite a protocol that he sticks to, that you have to have certain like stages of a liquid diet, then soft diet, and you have to stick to that. Um, I also was asked by him and he had said that because of my sleep apnea, which I'd now got a diagnosis of, I had to not go to a local hospital. He wanted to take me up to London where they had a high dependency or ITU, like intensive care facilities. So I actually ended up going to a different hospital because they had other facilities in case I needed them afterwards which I didn't need them afterwards, but they were there just in case. And that's another thing I was really good with, the safety aspect of my health, especially because I was very, very heavy at that time and a bigger risk. Yeah, my recovery was very good. I was given painkillers in the hospital regularly and some anti-sickness. And afterwards, I didn't have problems with my wounds. I didn't have problems with eating. I was on fluids for quite a few weeks afterwards and there was instructions, but the recovery was very good. I didn't have any complications. I stuck to doing what I was supposed to do. I moved and walked regularly, just increasing my walking gradually, stuck to what I was supposed to do. And I was just very lucky. I, did a ve I had a very good recovery. I had no complications at all. So I was very fortunate. I have lost nearly half my weight, so I was extremely heavy to start with. I had a huge BMI and a huge weight. I think I was, um, I think 155 kilos to start with. I've lost 75 kilos, so I've worked very hard. I've walked and walked and got more energy, been very mindful of what I eat, high protein, and of course, allow myself to have some treats, which is good to do that. But yes, I'm very happy with the results. But I have put in the work. It's not been an easy pick. So as I said, sort of, I've lost nearly half my weight. I've got so much more energy. Um, even little things like jewellery fits me better. I've got bracelets now that are too big. My shoes fit better. So loads of things. Obviously, my clothes have got better. I've gone down huge amount of sizes. I probably was in a size 28 clothes, which is terrible. Um, now, my size at the top, probably about 10, 12, which is good. The bottom, I've got a bit of skin, which I'm going to have removed, but that's about a 14. But yes, I'm very, very happy. My life has improved so much. I've got so much more energy Everything isn't such an effort. I 
go walking without even thinking about it whereas before I would sort of oh no I don't fancy doing that same as going the stairs at work before I used to never go up the stairs now I never go in the lift even if it's up to the second floor do you know it's just I don't say I just don't think about it I just go up the stairs so